Today we're going to find the domain of the function g of x equals the square root of negative 3x plus 5 plus 2. Now this function is a square root function because it has an x underneath the square root. Now since we can't take the square root of a negative, we have to make sure that what's underneath the square root stays positive. So we're going to say it's greater than or equal to 0. We have to say or equal to because we can take the square root of 0. So now we can solve for x. Subtracting 5 from both sides gives us negative 3x is greater than or equal to negative 5. Now we have to divide both sides by negative 3. Remember when we do that, we have to flip our inequality. So now we have x is less than or equal to 5 thirds. This tells us that our function only exists when x is less than 5 thirds. So now we can find our domain. We're going to write this in interval notation. Since we said it has to be less than 5 thirds, that means that it'll exist from negative infinity to 5 thirds. And nothing beyond 5 thirds, but since it can be equal to 5 thirds, it gets a square bracket instead of a parenthesis. So this is our domain.